Hi, this is Kyle, CMAX Training Coordinator, and today I'd like to show you a couple audio tips. To adjust the volume on an individual clip, I'll first need to expand my audio track so I can see the waveforms. I'll do so by clicking on the gray dot on the bottom of the audio scroll bar in my timeline. I'll drag it upward until I see audio waveforms. From here, I can click and drag on the white line running down the middle of each audio clip. Dragging the white line up raises the volume. Dragging the white line down lowers the volume. If I want to adjust the volume only at a specific point within a clip, I can do that with the pen tool. With the pen tool, I can draw nodes on the white line, then switch back to the standard selection tool, and drag the white line in between the nodes to lower the volume of just that specific section. The field cameras available for checkout from CMAC have two XLR ports. And if you didn't plug in a microphone into the second XLR port, there may not be sound in the right channel. Premiere has an audio effect to fix this. Go to the Effects tab, select Audio Effects, or search Fill Left with Right, or Fill Right with Left, depending on which channel has the sound. Let's say for this clip, I wanted to use the right side sound in both channels. I can say fill left with right. And now only the right side channel will be heard in both sides. Before you import your footage, if you know your audio is only on a single channel, you can tell Adobe Premiere to treat your assets as mono channels upon import. To do so, click on the Premiere Pro drop down menu from the top. Select Preferences, Audio, and change stereo media to mono. This way, Adobe Premiere will treat each channel as a separate mono track rather than a left and right stereo track. To fade in a track at the beginning, fade out a track at the end, or fade between two audio tracks, there are audio transitions under the Effects tab. The most common transition is constant power. You can drag the transition from the Effects tab onto a track in your sequence. Alternatively, you can make a secondary click on the end of a track and select Apply Default Transition. Once a transition is on a clip, you can grab the end of the transition and pull it inward to make the transition longer, or pull it outward to make the transition shorter. When my project is all done, the last thing I like to do to my sequence is normalize the audio. To do this, I go into the Audio Track Mixer by selecting the Window drop-down menu, and selecting Audio Track Mixer. Inside the Audio Track Mixer, I'll click on the drop-down triangle to show my effects. On the Master Channel, I'll add the Multiband Compressor effect. By default, the Multiband Compressor effect is set to Broadcast. The Broadcast setting is excellent for use on CMAC. This will compress and normalize the audio across my entire project. Those are my favorite audio tips and tricks. If you have other questions about editing, feel free to reach me at kyle at cmac.tv.